Jets on a time-critical mission to transport fresh seafood from waters off Tasmania. They just come in this morning, beautiful. To the bustling fish markets of Melbourne. One just half an hour late. So we've got to be there at that time. And Jeff will miss the boat, delaying him for a full day and downgrading the value of his load. As Jeff pushes north to his next pickup, he's looking to buy himself some time. But Mother Nature has other ideas. There's a severe weather warning gusting up to 120 or 140 k an hour. They're not quite sure. And the wind's moving us around, something shocking. <laughs> oh! Come out from behind the trees, you can get a bit of a blast. You're on your limit for, your, for the size of truck on the road. With every gust of wind and every slow corner, Jeff's getting more worried. It's not looking good for the boat. He arrives at the next oyster farm. Boss Craig Claridge is waiting. He's also getting nervous about making the boat. 6.30, quarter to seven at the moment. Right, OK. And I rang him and confirmed that, and that is what they requested. Right, yeah, no problem. This needs to be a quick load-up. But there's barely any room to manoeuvre. The ferry to the mainland leaves in less than three and a half hours. 250 keys. It's going to be tight. Cut back down over the uh, delightful St Mary's Pass. A road notorious for landslides and slippery conditions. I went along there a couple of months ago and there was a big truck smash and had the road closed for two and a half hours. You hope it doesn't happen and you try not to play and let it play in your mind too much, so we'll just have to keep pushing. As the corners get tighter, Jeff is being forced into the other lane. Crank it up onto channel 40. He tries to warn any oncoming trucks. Coming up to Mary's Pass heading for Launceston. Just because you're shouting on the radio doesn't mean to say there's no be coming another way. For cars, the only warning is his horn. <laughs> One mistake, and it's a long way down. Looks about a couple hundred metres. That's us up at the top now. All we've got to go do, do now is go down the other side. The mountain pass has sucked up precious time. It might be three minutes late. Pedal as hard as we can all day. We're not there yet. We're going to keep pushing right to the end. Jeff's now on the Midland Highway. We're meeting an awful lot of traffic. The major corridor between Tasmania's two largest cities. So we can't push too hard. <laughs> 30 kilometres, eight hours of intense driving. 19 past six. It's come down to the wire. From here to the ferry, it takes about 11 or 12 minutes. Five minutes. The harbour and the ship are in sight. That's us at the ferry, with three minutes to spare. To get this far, Jeff's had to conquer dangerous mountain roads. But tomorrow, in the big city, he'll take on a mountain of traffic. He's back on track. Jeff's wagering this next turn will lead him to the fish markets. Until... low bridge, blocking his way. And now, it's a dead end. Oh, crap. Thankfully, at the end of the road, a turnaround.
the main objective now is to get there without damaging the truck and without getting it stuck under a bridge. This time, he's taken the right turn. Six tons of fish and 20,000 oysters, fresh from the pristine waters of Tasmania, safely delivered on time. Almost. Ah, are you kidding me?